Another year, another autumn, and you know what that means. Except this time, it's deeply special. Early notice and a bit more time to prepare for those contributing to Candy Bowl will be greatly required. October of 2024 is going to be our 10th, yes, 10th October on Nightmind. I'll be operating in my 10th year and we'll be celebrating the crown piece of a decade of Halloween together. It is amazing to say that aloud. 10. We've reached our 10th October. As such, this year's theme is, itself, Halloween. Call it Halloween X, Halloween 10, whatever you like. But the excitement, energy, and fun it brings to mind should be precisely what you're going for this year as a Halloween Candy Bowl contributor. What is a Halloween Candy Bowl? A short film festival composed entirely of viewer-submitted material, premiered on Nightmind for Halloween, celebrating the power of self-propelled creativity we love and support in the unfiction field. As well as, you know, all the horror that we cover. So what exactly do you create for Halloween 10? I alluded to it a touch already, but... As long as it's as fun as Halloween, do whatever you want. Halloween 10 is Halloween vibes. What do I mean by this? Well, what does Halloween bring to mind? Fun, monsters, ghosts, crazy, horrifying, enjoyable thrills and terror. Dark humor. The kind of horror shorts that hit so good they stay with you and excite you to talk about. I know I'm an art house, deep thought, meaningful work kind of guy a lot of the time, and I appreciate all of that and everything people have submitted over the years, but for Candy Bowl this time, it's not about thinking pieces or heavy topics, no deep elevated horror. Let's just bring a damn good scarier fun time. It's Halloween and we've done this for almost 10 years everybody, it's gonna be 10 years, let's celebrate. I want shorts that make you smile, shriek, and give goosebumps. I want to be the horror host I am at the greatest time of the year to be one, grinning over the best you can bring knowing you were smiling and freaking yourselves out the whole time you made your shorts. It is, after all, the Halloween Candy Bowl. Let's keep the energy high and knock some viewers out of their chairs, make them roar with laughter or pick their jaws up off the floor and clap it up. If it fits that groove, then it's in theme. And listen, come here a second. I gotta let you in on something. Huddle up, okay? I'm gonna be streaming this as a special event, and that means a whole lot of the VTuber viewer community, and maybe some VTubers themselves are gonna be watching and experiencing a horror short film festival for the first time. This whole VTubing and streaming thing, it's so much about being an ambassador for Unfiction, our art and our spirit, in an entirely new community who don't know what they're missing. We are Halloween Town, strolling out of the graveyard to extend our claws and invite people in for a visit. You know what I mean? This is us, presenting what we do and what we're about to a whole community who have never seen something like this or what Nightmind's about. I'm asking you to help me show them and give them an amazing time. They're new to Internet Horrorland and it's our night. You want to be some of the scary kids with me? Let's go do it. Let's knock them dead and show them how we make October happen. As for more precise details and guidelines, let's get to it. As always, one-time stories only. No launching a project via Candy Ball submission. If you like what you made enough after the fact that you want to expand it to a full project, then by all means, go ahead. But don't go into this submitting something you know is that kickoff point to a project. Your only aim at this time is to make a single, self-contained piece. The Candy Bowl is a friendly competition, but it is a competition. And considering this is our 10th Halloween, I will not mince words. I encourage you to kick some ass. If ever there was a time I wanted to beat the drum on this like I did for the Blood Drive theme, it's now. Bring me your best. Get in here and be Halloween. I'm giving you notice this far in advance so you've got the time to do it to the best of your ability. Candy Bowl has produced some true bangers over the years, and I want to experience banger after banger reviewing submissions this October. Fresh prompt entries only. You're submitting only what you create with Candy Bowl in mind between now and the end of the deadline. I will not accept what's been made outside of this timeline and intention. It defeats the purpose of a community-wide drive to celebrate Halloween together. You have 10 minutes for your short film. 
I will allow only 31 seconds of hang time if you have managed to absolutely trim all the fat and still can't quite make just 10 minutes. I've had email chains with submitters before trying to make compromises with me on the time limit. Please don't do that. Aim for 10 minutes. And if you're worried you won't make that, aim for 9. I'll allow a little time after the cutoff for credits. Do you hear me, loud and clear? 10 minutes, 31 seconds. 10.31 for Halloween. That is absolutely all the time you get before credits and the credits must be quick. Do not ask me for a millisecond more. That's all you get. Plan for it, check it twice, check it a third time, and make it happen. Find what to cut and make the cuts. It's what a director needs to do. I don't want to keep a rolling discussion with anybody about this as they're frantically trying to edit things down. And don't try rolling credits over an extended section of footage that's actually the end of your short film as a workaround. I'm not going to see it as clever. Cut to black at 10 minutes 31 seconds. Roll the credits quickly, make room for the next short, take your hugs and pats on the back of the way out, I thank you in advance, you did lovely. <laughs> I'm only harping on this because experience has been my teacher. Absolutely no audio only entries, and this time, the criteria for audio heavy projects with static images is that you must absolutely make it worth our while, and it can't be the majority of the piece. I'll say it outright. Analog horror standards and tropes of seeing text fade in and out over the course of several minutes with some audio changes is the kind of thing that is not going to make it. You can be more creative, I beg you to do so. The only exception to this rule is if you follow up with a massive chunk of live action or animation or something that absolutely rules. This is a short film competition. Keep our eyes engaged as well as our ears. And on the topic of what is never permissible, no AI inclusion at all. Standard legacy text-to-speech is fine. Keyword being legacy text-to-speech. We're talking Microsoft Sam and things that are several years old and commonly known. Siri level text-to-speech kind of stuff that usually ends up in projects we come across. No text-to-speech of established people or characters. Anything beyond legacy text-to-speech, do not do it. I will not be pleased. No one will be pleased. You will not have my respect, and if I find out after the fact that AI was used, I will recut and re-upload the candy bowl without your submission. I have no issue doing it. I know there are light circumstances in which it can be used as a stylistic editing tool. This is not the space that we're going to have that discussion, and I don't care to work it out in email chains. Be a filmmaker. Be a great editor. Be resourceful and do the work. Everyone around you is busting their ass to be a great creator with their own handiwork and intelligence. Get on their level or get to learning the skills. Be as gruesome or adult as you like within YouTube guidelines. Just don't get us hit with a strike while celebrating Halloween, okay? And stay very far away from copyrighted footage and music. What are the official YouTube guidelines regarding dramatized or fictional content? Violent physical SA is prohibited, and footage filmed during a deadly or major violent event in which weapons, violence, or injured victims are visible or audible. So stay away from SA. Stay away from historical events or tragedies. I wouldn't expect either of those things to show up in submissions, but now you know for sure. As for anything else you're wondering about, check the YouTube guidelines while you're in the writing stage. No one under the age of 18 need apply. Sorry, but that's just how it is. If a minor is in the film, their parents or guardians must know, and I must know that they know. I want that assurance in writing. My language on this point is exact, and it is final. In recognition of this being the best possible circumstances for this occasion, I am introducing one of my latest deadlines ever. October 25th is your deadline. October 27th is your grace deadline. What does that mean? It means I want the overwhelming majority of you submitted by end of the night on October 25th. But if things go awry, if scheduling conflicts happen, if life just happens to you, despite your plans and careful work, if you're literally finishing your editing process or something that very night or could only pull off completing the piece over the weekend, I'm giving you that grace period. 
because I know how scheduling and creativity goes and life deciding it has its own idea of how your week is gonna turn out. If it's not in my emails when I wake up on October 27th, you're too late. Yeah, seriously, I'm giving you right into the very final week of October this time, so if you need autumn foliage, Halloween decorations, and visible breath in your footage, I'm giving you that far into October to go for it. But seriously, in order to pull this off, I really need you to submit by like 5pm EST on October 27th, because I'll be premiering this first live on Devil's Night October 30th while doing my Devil's Night stream. I'm not giving myself a lot of room to render this and the Halloween hangover while handling my uploads and streaming, but I'm doing it in the name of giving you all the time you need, so please help me by getting this done and submitted by afternoon on October 27th. For submissions, use an unlisted upload to YouTube or correctly shared Google Drive link. This means you make sure the Google Drive upload, when shared, is set to viewable for anyone with the link. Nothing makes me want to throw a brick through my monitor like someone sharing a Google Drive link that makes me request access. Set it up just like this, okay? Then hit copy link and paste that in the email when you submit. Send email submissions to nmindexentry at gmail.com and start the subject with candybowl24 in parentheses exactly like that, followed by the title of your short film. It makes it much easier to find you in the mix with Nightmind Index entries when you do it this way. As mentioned, simply the best and most in theme will make the bowl. Everyone who doesn't make the cut but stayed in theme will be shown in the Halloween Hangover on November 1st, and I'm going to do my best with the time I have to give notes. And I believe that with the amount of time I'm giving this year and the potential amount of submissions, that, uh, do your best, because I might even need to make cuts for Hangover more than usual. Really get in there. <laughs> If you see ads run on either upload to YouTube, someone slipped up and used copyrighted music, or it got claimed months or even years later, it happens every now and then. It's odd. People will use music that's completely open for use, and then years later, all of a sudden, I'll see a claim on it. But that's always the deal of what happened whenever you see ads on either of these, because I don't run ads on these. As I said, I'll be premiering the Candy Bowl during my Devil's Night stream on October 30th. Public status on YouTube will be simultaneous with the watch-along, so if anyone can't catch it live or has plans for Halloween night proper, they'll have options for viewing all around. Whether you watch it with me horror host style or on your own time on Halloween, you've got options to enjoy it. And of course, Halloween Hangover is on November 1st. I am very excited for this year's turnout. Do enjoy yourselves. Have fun with it remember the guidelines, especially remember the deadlines, and make Halloween happen. Happy filmmaking, and I'll see you all again real soon.